24, 2022, gave reasons why it has not complied with the Court of Appeal judgments that ordered it to release the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Aiko Nambikano. FG, in an affidavit it filed in support of its application to stay the execution of the judgment, described Kano as a flight risk person, insisting that the case against him borders on national security. Relying on the decided case law in Federal Republic of Nigeria versus Asari Dokubo, FG argued that once a case touched on national security, the rights of the individual affected takes secondary place. The respondent is a flight risk person. It is important to appreciate the gamut of disposition in our application. One of the grounds of our application is that this matter touches on national security of the state. We rely on the case of FRN versus Dokubo, where the Supreme Court held that where national security is threatened or likelihood of it being threatened, human rights take secondary place. Once there is a threat to national security, human rights of any individual can be suspended until such threat is taken care of. Once security of the nation is in jeopardy, the individual rights may not even exist. FG argued through its lawyer, Mr. David Kwasi, an assistant state counsel in the office of the Attorney General of the Federation. It further told the court that there is intelligence reports that releasing Kano from detention would worsen the security situation in the southeast region. However, Kano's lawyer, Chief Mike Ozekome, SAN, urged the appellate court to dismiss FG's application insisting that it was tantamount to seeking the stay of the liberty of a citizen. In fact, my lord, on the contrary, the release of Kanu will actually bring peace and tranquility to the Southeast in particular and the nation in general. This was demonstrated after the judgment of this court that ordered the release of the respondents. Immediately the judgment was delivered, there was so much joy and happiness in the entire Southeast. There was so much jubilation and merriment, Ozekume added. He argued that Dokubo's case was different from that of Kano. According to him, why Dokubo applied to be granted bail pending the examination of the charge against him, in Kano's case, the appellate court has already terminated his trial and ordered his release. After it had listened to both sides, a three-man panel of justice of the appellate court led by Justice Aruna Sanami, reserved ruling to a date to be communicated to the parties. From Lagos, this is Peace Ngabuko, News Express, and Beyond Television.